and welcome you logged on to indiantimesday.com the only portal for global indians we broadcast news from india canada punjab and gujarat in english punjabi and gujarati languages and our portal and apps have a list of well established businesses and resources that every global indian needs i am ani sheik and today's headlines are 4432.10 crore grant for orisha karnataka hp from ndrf anticipatory bail denied to chintambaram Stay tuned to IndianTimesDaily.com and I'll be back with all the news that's important for you from India, Canada and Punjab. For detailed news and businesses updates of Indo-Canadian community, download the Indian Times Daily app. Scientifically calculates your post-retirement financial requirements and precisely suggests optimal investment solutions for a secured and comfortable future. Register with Retirement Shield. For a limited time, the basic account is free and comprehensive account is for $499 and get a 45-minute consultation with a registered retirement consultant. Retirement Shield. Plan the rest of your life. Viewers of Indian Times Daily can mention promo code RSITD and get the comprehensive account absolutely free. Amaya Caterers, state-of-the-art kitchen where food is cooked with fresh spices, vegetables and meat. Clean facility and temperature controlled storage to ensure best hygiene standards. Our experienced chefs prepare mouth-watering dishes as per your taste. For any occasion, just give us a call and we will delight you with our food. Amaya Caterers, 905-793-8484. Welcome back to Indian Times Daily. The top 10 headlines from India are The High Level Committee HLC of the Union Home Ministry has approved Rs 4,432.10 crore of additional central assistance to Odisha, Karnataka and Himachal Pradesh from National Disaster Response Fund. Rs 3,338.22 crore has been given to Odisha for Cyclone Fanny, while Rs 1,029.39 crore to Karnataka for Drought and Rs 64.49 crore to Himachal Pradesh for Affluences and Hailstorm. A team of six CBI officials, including a former officer, on Tuesday evening reached former Union Home Minister and senior Congress leader P. Chidambaram's residence in Delhi. The team was on the lookout for the former minister who was denied anticipator bail earlier in the day by the Delhi High Court in the INX media case. Prime Minister Narendra Modi had a telephonic conversation on Tuesday with his United Kingdom counterpart Boris Johnson. The two leaders looked forward to interacting during the G7 summit in Baraitis, France. Council for Ram Lala Virajman S. Vaidyanathan on Tuesday submitted to a five-judge constitution bench of the Supreme Court that the recovery of the 12th century AD stone slab from the disputed site which bears inscriptions in Sanskrit indicates existence of a temple predating the Babri Masjid. The Rajiv Gandhi Foundation on Tuesday celebrated the 75th birth anniversary of former Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi with the inauguration of exhibition of the photographs of the late Congress leader and Rajiv Sadbhavana Skill Lab. Coast Guards of India and Sri Lanka on Tuesday agreed to strengthen the cooperation in addressing a spectrum of maritime issues concerning safety and security. During the meeting, continued capacity building of Sri Lanka Coast Guard by Indian Coast Guard, training of Sri Lanka Coast Guard personnel and mutual cooperation in the multilateral forums was discussed and agreed by both the sides. Union Housing and Urban Affairs Minister Hardeep Singh Puri on Tuesday said Real Estate Regulation and Development Act RERA has seen a resounding success and it is here to stay and has begun to show effect. Defence Research and Development Organisation on Tuesday handed over the design of mobile metallic ramp to the Indian Army at the ceremony held at DRDO Bhavan. Secretary Department of Defence R&D and Chairman DRDO G. Satish Reddy handed over the design of MMR to Vice Chief of Army Staff Lieutenant General Devraj Anbu. Indian women's hockey team on Tuesday put in a tough shift to secure their place in the final of the Olympic test event as they played out a 0 by 0 draw against world number 11 China at the OU Hockey Stadium in Tokyo. India's melody queen and legendary playback singer Lata Mangeshkar has said that she is deeply honoured and humbled by President Ramnath Kovin paying a visit to her residence. She tweeted, was deeply honoured and humbled when the President of our country, Sri Ramnath Kovinji, so gracefully came and met me at my residence. I was living my dream and had a happy life. One day, everything changed. I was overwhelmed with chronic pain and depression. 
and I was struggling to get my disability benefits. All I wanted was the assurance of my insurance company that I would get paid, but they didn't. We decided to approach a trusted law firm in the community. Thanks to Cotec Law. Not only did I get my long-term disability settlement in no time, I got my confidence back to carry on with life too. We are your trusted disability lawyers. At Cotec Law, we will fight to ensure that you get the benefits you deserve. Welcome back to the Indian Times Daily, the top 10 headlines from Punjab R. Punjab Chief Minister Captain Amrinder Singh on Tuesday lambasted the Akalis for their preserve and desperate attempts to obstruct the investigations into the Bargari sacrilege case and said his government had already moved the court against CBI closure report to enable the state to pursue the probe to its logical conclusion. In a tribute to former Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi on his 75th birth anniversary, Punjab Chief Minister Captain Amrinder Singh on Tuesday launched his government's flagship universal health insurance scheme, Sarbat Sehat Bima Yojana, benefiting nearly 46 lakh families. The Jalandhar District Administration has sought the help of Army for plugging in the breaches as nearly 30,000 acres have been submerged in water in more than 50 villages. In a joint statement, the DC and the SSP said that the Army has been called in to expedite the work of plugging the breaches at village Mandiala and Jania in Shahakot subdivision. Senior Aam Aadmi Party leaders Harpal Singh Chima and Kultar Singh Sadhwan said that the corruption-ridden irrigation and drainage department officials in convenience with the mighty sand mafia loading over these rivers and enjoying political clout were responsible for resultant loss of life and property. Punjab Finance Minister Manpreet Singh Badal on Tuesday exhorted the people of Punjab and Haryana not to burn paddy straw as a true tribute to the Guru Nanak Dev Ji, especially with the ongoing 550th Parkash Purab celebrations. Taking a pledge not to burn stubble and paddy remnants will be in tune with the message of Sarbat Dabhala, the minister said. Punjab Governor VP Singh Badnor on Tuesday administered the oath of office to the newly appointed Chairman of the Punjab Public Service Commission and its members in the presence of Chief Minister Captain Amrinder Singh. Lieutenant General retired Surinder Singh was sworn in as the PPSC Chairman. Akali Dal leader Manjinder Singh Sirsa has called out the filmmaker Anurag Kashyap for disrespecting the Sikh community's religious symbol Kara in the second season of his web series Sacred Games 2. Sirsa took to Twitter on Tuesday and shared a clip of a scene from the show in which actor Saif Ali Khan's character Sartaj Singh is seen throwing away his Kara. Just about two days before former Deputy CM Sukhbe Singh Badal and MLA Bikram Singh Majithia were to appear before the Punjab and Haryana High Court in a case filed by a former judge, Justice Amit Rawal today granted them exemption from personal appearance. Punjabi singer Mika Singh was recently banned by the All India Cine Workers Association and the Federation of Western India Cine Employees for performing at a wedding in Karachi in Pakistan. While Mika still awaits a final verdict on the matter, report claims that if any artist works with Mika, then he or she too could get banned. Actor-politician Sunny Deol's son Karan Se shooting the song Hoja Avara for his debut film Palpal Dil Ke Paas was physically challenging. He said we had a great time shooting for the song. During the shoot we did a variety of adventure sports from rappling to zip lining to the river crossing. Welcome back to IndianTimesD.com and the top 10 headlines from Canada are The Ford government decision to proceed with municipal funding cuts to public health and childcare threatens the health and security of Ontario families. The cuts to municipal funding originally slated to take effect this year were paused following huge public outcry but have now been resecurated and scheduled for January 2020. Air Canada today clarified that the contrary to statements by Mr. Palladio earlier in a press release, who himself tried to structure an offer but was unsuccessful, the transaction with Air Canada is advantageous and in the best interest not only of the two companies but also of their employees, Quebec consumers and the Quebec economy. Investigators from the 21 Division Criminal Investigation Bureau are seeking assistance from the public in locating a missing 34-year-old woman from Brampton. Varinder Kaur was last seen on Monday, August 19, 2019 at approximately 1 p.m. in the area of Bramalia Road and Black Forest Drive in Brampton. The Don Valley Parkway will be partially closed this weekend to replace the culvert pipe that crosses all lanes under the bottom of the Dunda Street East on ramp. The City of Toronto work is to ensure flooding doesn't occur in the severe weather conditions and to keep the expressway safe and in a state of good repair. 
Toronto residents can rank the list of 10 potential names in order of preference for three new streets being constructed as part of the transformation of the Six Points Interchange in Etobicoke. The city is asking the public to vote on whether one of three new Etobicoke streets should be named after late Toronto Mayor Rob Ford. Hydro One says electricity rates for some seasonal cottagers could jump by nearly $1,000 a year if Ontario's energy watchdog makes good on a plan to eliminate a customer class gear to them. The company says it opposes the change and that it would mean over half of its customers, 84,000 cottagers, would see their rates jump. A handful of MPs will be meeting in Parliament Hill today to decide whether to dig more deeply into the Federal Ethics Watchdog scathing report on how Prime Minister Justin Trudeau handled the SNC Lavalin affair. This is the end of the news bulletin, but stay tuned to IndianTimesDay.com and do visit the resources section on this portal to find the best Indo Canadian businesses and resources, from accounting firms to wedding planners in your city. All of us at Indian Times Daily wish that you have a great day.